the most common reason why women have high testosterone is a condition called PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. And there's a lot of women that have that, that unfortunately they have not been diagnosed properly. It's a clinical diagnosis, not necessarily a blood test. Of course, having high testosterone in the blood or high levels of BHEA sulfate can alert us as physicians that that's the diagnosis, but it's based on clinical symptoms. If you have a lady with facial hair that obviously is not normal, excessive facial hair, you know, severe acne, the menstrual cycle is irregular, you know, inability to lose weight. They just keep gaining weight despite, you know, an adequate uh, diet. Women that have problems with fertility. So those are all red flags and you should be tested for PCOS. Once, if you do have that diagnosis, there are medications that will help you to try to contrast those symptoms. And, you know, especially if you're pursuing fertility, if you're wanting to have kids and the medications are very inexpensive. You know, we can even talk about metformin, which is a diabetes medication, but it is prescribed for PCOS. Other medication like spironolactone will antagonize that testosterone level and something as simple as oral contraceptives. It can regulate your hormonal level and it'll make, you know, that woman feel you know, much better and they will think better about themselves because, you know, all those symptoms will, you know, will dissipate um, a little bit at a time. 